It, me and Chris have got our own apartment now. Oh, congratulations. Different place. Wow. Thank you. And are yeah. you enjoying spending a lot of time there? Yeah, I actually am. Where is it? Where, where, Vicky, where are you in the world? I'm in Sydney. I'm in Sydney at Coogee Beach. I live <gasps> really close to the beach. Nice. Like a two-minute walk. So it's been pretty good in lockdown. Oh, my God, this is so embarrassing that that's what I'm saying on YouTube. <laughs> that's right. YouTube is a <laughs> so normy cool. and boring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I live near the beach. It's you. Yeah, it's really good. Lockdown's okay <laughs> if you live by the beach. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, here we I, go. I accidentally said on a on a Zoom the other day with a whole bunch of theater friends. I was like, I was like, I know I'm have been having you know some sad days, but at least I don't have any kids here. And there were like a couple of people who had hey. kids, and I they <laughs> definitely looked offended. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But like whatever, they get to be smug in other ways, you know. This is mm. do never underestimate time. the smugness of people with children. I'm we living both. I'm living both kids. lives. Yeah. Oh, happy you Father's are. Day. Yeah, oh, I Father's saw Day. I saw the photo of Olive um riding her bike. It's a that beautiful was thing. So beautiful. Was it away from Guy? Because it's <laughs> yeah. It yeah, was she was actually. careening in the opposite. And I, I, I couldn't catch up. Yeah, he runs and screams. <laughs> he follows her and screams. Oh, wow. That's why she bikes. Yeah. <laughs> and, she, and she bikes fast. <laughs> she, she she begged to not have her training wheels taken off. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, I'm just making yeah, sure sweet. everyone's got access to this link. Yeah, nice. God, there's got to be a better way to do I'm this. I'm so worried about my internet. I'm sorry. That's good. It's good to Did be your worried. internet go funny, Alexi, in um the rain? <laughs> um, I don't know. We just moved into this new place. So far, the internet has been a stunning success. Mm. Really? Oh. Yes. My embarrassment. I feel it's so happens, annoying. My embarrassment in this new apartment is that my windows don't seal shut. So someone could probably hear me just talking to myself, babbling away. How often do you talk to yourself? Well, I mean, uh, right now they would assume that I'm a night psychopath talking to myself. I, people are aware that there are phones in the world, Alexi. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe well, you should you know, just slip a note under their um, door saying, I'm yeah. a podcaster. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, this is my only way to perform these days. So <laughs> please be aware. And a link to your Patreon account. <laughs> <laughs> Drop a couple of bucks in. <laughs> yeah. All right, there's been a huge success here, I believe. Wow. That the link has been shared. Wow. If you need us to retweet a link or... Alexi, if you don't retweet this link, I can guarantee no one's going to watch this shit. Oh, gosh, almighty, almighty. I don't have Twitter, but... I noticed that. Why did you leave? I wasn't um, contributing. No. That's probably a good... That's a good Twitter. If you're not contributing to the discourse, yeah. that's nice. You're just there. I just didn't like the idea that if something went down and I didn't say anything about it, it was because mm. I didn't want to talk about it. True. <laughs> I have a bad yeah. phone, so if I don't respond to something, it's because my phone's off. Okay. Not because you're, you're... Are you talking about the spelling bee or just in general? In general. I've turned my phone <laughs> off to save battery. Thank you. Thanks, Angela. That's a good idea. <laughs> it's good to know that. <laughs> you're like a mum that keeps the phone in her handbag turned off so like, you know like my mum always has her mobile to the phone turned off in the bottom of her handbag she's like it's just for emergency <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah for you <laughs> i spent a month in edinburgh during the fringe without a phone and it is yeah it's mostly just a burden for everyone around you and for you you're living this wonderful carefree lifestyle he's yeah. got a good joke about that i do oh, it's true actually yes well, Becky, please perform it for yes, us. I'm really, <laughs> if anyone has tuned in I yet. Managed, I managed to kind of... <laughs> My God, this is like Comics Unleashed right now. <laughs> My Lord. Um, all right, guys. Well, we have struck 8.01 p.m. here in New Zealand, which means it's time to spell. Good evening, uh, spellers. Good evening, everyone tuning in. And welcome to Guy Montgomery's Guy Montgomery's Spelling Bee number two. For 2021, we had one last week. And um, while I think there was some entertainment value, the spelling was an abject disaster. It was one of the worst 
performances cumulatively from the spellers that um, I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and I don't think any of them would take issue with me saying that. Uh, so I'm excited. I've, I've recruited four new spellers. I've no idea what your histories are with spelling. This evening, competing the spelling bee, we have Becky Lucas, Alexi Toliopoulos, Angela Dravid, and Brinley Spent. Kia good evening. <laughs> yeah, Brinley's spent. Um, <laughs> spent. <laughs> hey, hey, guys. How is everyone? Very well, uh, yeah, good. Really yeah, it's good. good. It's a, obviously, it's really good to ask broad questions on Zoom <laughs> as everyone tentatively answers. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, we can all answer at the same time. Which yeah. is good. sheepishly as well. There's mm. not that yeah. sort of natural confidence <laughs> that comes with talking in yeah. person. <laughs> um, I'll start with you, Becky, because you're in the top corner of my Zoom. Uh, first of all, mm-hmm. it's so good to see you. I haven't seen you probably the longest since we've met in our lives. It's been the longest since I I've know. Seen. And I know, I miss you. Uh, you are missed also by, by me. You'll be fascinated <laughs> to hear. Okay. Uh, how, are, how are you and where are you? Um, I am good and I'm in Sydney. Hi, oh, in your house? Yeah, I'm in my house and, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know how to, I don't know what to say. Like, yeah, I'm good. I actually feel good at the moment. Do you? Oh, have you? Are you have you're still here? Well, <laughs> Yeah, okay, sorry, just you just didn't know what to Move say. Move around, guy. You kind of you look like you're freezing. Yes, oh, become a no, little more yeah. animated. I'm, I'm freezing cold from Vicky's icy answer to my conversation stuff. I, did, I didn't, like, you didn't tell us to prepare a funny anecdote from our life. So, um, I'm not fucking I'm, about a funny anecdote. I'm, I'm just genuinely asking how my friend is. I'm just like, whir- I'm going whirring through the Rolodex. And, like, <laughs> Maybe everything's a performance, I Vicky. What do you um, want to hear? Are you, ner- do you get, are you nervous for this? Are you good at spelling? Oh, you're, you're um, into- I'm not nervous. <laughs> I'm really good at spelling. But when I say that, like I don't, I think I'm very good at spelling just day to day, but I think that you're obviously going to, you know, throw in tricky words and you are. No. But it's like day to day, I'd never get anything spelt wrong. Oh, that's like I, I, and that's I'm sorry. Actually, like I don't like to what, boast, but that's something oh, I, I feel passionate. I'm quaking about. in my boots right now. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you should be. Chicky Lucas over here, <laughs> yeah. my lord. We've got to keep our <laughs> keep our wits about us. Don't get I, Alexi on the writing team. Mm-hmm. That was incredible. <laughs> Do you want to know the most annoying story? Like I hate even saying this. I know how it makes me come across, but um, in <laughs> school, in primary school and stuff, the teachers would. Ask me how to spell stuff. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. God. This is the best smash talk I've ever heard. You... I, know, I know. Hold on. Brilly, did you just call it smash talk? Because she has a smash mouth? Wait, what is that not what it's called? <laughs> <laughs> not that I know of. I've really heard Do it. Do you mean smash talk? Smack oh, talk. Yeah, that. I've heard trash talk as well. Perhaps you have pl- applied talk. them together. Smash, <laughs> yeah. smack, and trash combined. And, Guys, uh, okay, um, take it with a grain of soap. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, Brinley. No, no, Brinley. Sorry, Becky. Um, you, you were better off not telling any anecdotes. That was grating. To be told. I know, um, I know. <laughs> but I, it's because I had a lonely childhood. My parents would leave me. Okay, so they would leave me you didn't prepare board. anything and it's really coming through now because you're kind of oversharing. I'm re- yeah. Okay, my parents got divorced. Um, you want to know when? Okay, I was two. <laughs> uh, was it hard? Yeah. <laughs> and do you, do, do you anyway, any- that's me. I'm good. Yeah, nice. And do you have any? Did you bring in a word? Do you have a word you like, or a word that you're proud you can spell? Mm. Me? Yeah, um, you. A word that I really like is milk toast. Oh, okay. And that's yeah, sort of I love that word. That's like a that's a, a way of describing someone as sort of being up themselves somewhat. No, it's like bland, like or having oh. like a, you know just a, a bland kind of like same same like. Oh, his opinions are very milk toast. Like they're not challenging or. That's great. Yeah, ah. Interesting. A, fr- a friend sent a message to me describing someone as milk toast recently, and I suppose I overlaid my impression of the person they were talking about and assumed that milk oh, toast. Oh, that's meant, so funny. Like, up themselves. Yeah. Also, it's quite like a fancy well, now- <laughs> kind of word. 
Yeah. It's and it's it's yummy too. It's like, ooh, milk and toast. Mm. But I, it's M I L Q U E toast. That's what makes it fancy. A Q and a yeah. word is a fancy word. That's I how I like to smell milk normally. I'm like, beautiful spelling makes me <laughs> much yeah. more, you know, like, you know, some sort of Saint-Tropez or something, an exciting mm-hmm. lifestyle. <laughs> um, Alexi, and so thank you, Becky. Alexi, I'll now turn to you and you position yourself in front of, is that green screen or is that actually your, your life? This is my lifestyle. <laughs> As I appear in front of it, this is my life. This is my chamber that I've left myself into. And also the anchor that weighs me down in life. <laughs> <laughs> Extremely yeah. difficult to move house and, you know, start a new life somewhere if you own over 2,000 DVDs. You know you can so- stream online. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm aware, but I love, I'm tactile. I love to reach out and touch things and, you know, yeah. feel. And not just DVDs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm not just a cinephile. There are other things <laughs> I'm uh, really <laughs> <act> for, <laughs> if you will. Uh, and so are those all DVDs? Well, Blu rays, to be more specific, but DVD, <laughs> funnier wow. words. So I like to say that yeah, more yeah. often. Do you have Exclusively- any pop vinyls? On I've got shelf? one pop vinyl mm. behind me, only one. It's right behind my head there. Oh, nice. It is. It's uh, Seymour, the plant from uh, uh, the Little Shop of Horrors. Oh, really cool. Very very dangerous piece of pop art to have in the house. Yeah, it's very dapper of me to own such a thing. (laughs) (laughs) Your words. And uh, um, (laughs) what a milk toast. (laughs) <laughs> that was it. I'm joking. I'm joking. That's okay. I, I can handle a, a barb thrown at me from time to time, but as long as they are not constant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Alexi, like you're, you're also in Sydney, if I'm not mistaken. You bet, dude. Sydney, one of the most beautiful international cities located on the <laughs> east coast of Australia. Yeah, I, I love Sydney. Thank um, you so much. I miss it dearly. Again, you're another guy who I used to get to see semi-regularly. Yes. Our respective jet-setting lifestyles, but now we are both housebound. Yes. And How I, was, I like it. I actually love staying at home. Yeah. Well, evidently. Yes. Um, have you watched every single one of those Blu-rays behind you? No, probably only 75%. There's actually a lot of them. It's very hard to watch all of them. I just like to own them. 75% is still an incredibly hard number. He's hoping that they get... they rise in value as years oh, go see. by yeah it's like my, the other day my boyfriend um he he used to collect basketball cards and he pulled them out the other day and he's like oh i'm gonna look up how much they're they're worth it's like a whole book of of them yeah. and he was looking them up and like he really had been banking on them you know gaining in value <laughs> And I just watched him as he was looking up every single card and they're, they're worth less now than they were 20 years ago. Oh, no. Oh, no. no, no, no. Yeah. But I think no, they stopped not developing. not going to happen to me. Yeah, no, not I think they stopped developing technology after Blu-ray, Alexi, so you're yeah. safe. Well, there's actually 4K now. You know, so <laughs> I got to upgrade this whole thing behind me. I wouldn't worry about that. And what's your what's your relationship to spelling? Are you any good? Um, I'm, you know, um, No. I would say, (laughs) I would say that I'm bilingual. I speak Greek and I also speak English. And sometimes that is good. It's good for understanding words, but spelling can be a real humdinger sometimes because the spelling changes between languages. And my own name is quite difficult to spell because it's A-L-E-X-E-I. And usually there's a rule in spelling I before E, except in (laughs) cases where C precedes it. And I, um, I don't apply that rule to anything because of my name. The word that I probably write down the most um, has so, absolutely yeah. done a muck on me. Either yeah. for E and le- unless you're Greek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because of your yeah. birth name, you've had immediate distrust of authority and yes. idioms. It, all the time, especially whenever there's two, um, any two vowels together, I'm likely to put them the wrong way around. Fantastic. That's a little bit of an Achilles heel for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and do you have a word that you're particularly fond of or my, that you're proud you can spell? My favorite word is a Greek word. It's called philotimo, which is spelled P-H-I-L-O-T. And then a few other word letters <laughs> after that. I got lost in it um, trying to... You know, to be an effervescent personality around this uh, conversation. Um, but I, uh, 
I was distracted by it. But in this word, there's no English translation, but it is the greatest honor and virtue that a Greek can hold. It means basically the love of honor and the love for one's community. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, also, one of the highest honors any word in any language can hold is that it's not been bastardized or reappropriated by the English language. Thank you so much. On behalf of me and the entire <laughs> Greek culture around the entire globe, both native Greeks and those living in diasporas, such as myself. <laughs> they are lucky to have such an articulate spokesperson. <laughs> um, Angela, it's wonderful to see you. Hello. How do you yeah, do? Good to see you. I'm good. I'm good. How are you? You don't have to say it's good to see me. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> I mean, if it is, you can say so, but don't feel pressured to. Yeah, cool. It's um, it's you don't it's need to say. Okay, you, you don't need to say how it is to see me if it's not good. You can just okay brush right past that part of the conversation. All right, my favorite word is. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. No, oh, it's I. I don't know if I. I don't think I've got a favorite word, but um, I went to a Catholic school and they um taught us how to spell necessary with um, an acronym, Ooh. which was uh, never eat crab, eat salmon sandwiches and remain young. And remain Whoa. young. Wow. Yeah. I need that one. I never remember how to spell it. So, wow. yeah. Wow. I ate a lot of crabs and I think it may have had an effect on my aging. How old are you, Alexi? Never you mind, sir. Never <laughs> you mind. <laughs> Um, and so you've, you've got one acronym for one famously challenging word. Otherwise, what's your relationship to spelling? Well, um, both my names look like typos. <laughs> so uh, my, my parents um, spelled my first name wrong on my birth certificate and it's stuck. Uh, so not off to a good start. And my surname looks like <laughs> David with an R. And my dad changed his name to David. This is surname Dravid. Yeah. That's a cool name. He sounds, he and sounds... he's a doctor, Dr. David Dravid. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Sounds like a real card. I can AKA see Dr. Death. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Angela, it's wonderful to have you here. I, um, I saw you more recently than these our Australian friends. Yes. But, that was you know, great. <laughs> it was. It was nice. I was, and mm-hmm. coincidentally, at the same time, we were also with our fourth competitor this evening, uh, Brinley Stent. <laughs> yeah, great segue. Yeah, I know. We were all together for a we time. We were. We were doing. We were doing some writing. That's nice. It was very oh, fun. Right. We were writing down words, and you yeah. you were writing down the most words. I they was. I was a scribe. A lot of spelling mistakes. <laughs> oh, I didn't notice. <laughs> yeah. Recently, I've been spelling Odysseus wrong in a, in a thing as well. I was the scribe for like this big scroll we were doing and I wrote Odysseus wrong on every thing and the people who were watching it didn't correct me until the very Aww. end of the scroll. Can I ask why? Uh, why were you writing a scroll? Uh, for a theatre show about the Trojan War. Was that going to be a big, a big money earner? It was a money earner, yeah. Ah, I'm ah. sorry. It's okay. I'm, I'm sorry it went missing. <laughs> it will come back. People, I mean, this is right up Alexi's um, tree, you know. People love Greek mythology. Yes, I too love Greek mythology. <laughs> it's part of my heritage. Can you spell Odysseus? I would love nothing more than to give it a beautiful shot once points are involved. I see. Ah, nice. I'll save it. I, yeah. Odysseus, Odysseus, um, you know, it's in Greek. Odysseus in English, Ulysses. Hmm. Is that so? I think so. Do you, you know that? I think so. Yeah, nice. Believe in yourself. I think, <laughs> yeah, I think I you it's know. true. It is. Uh, and Brindley, I owe you a huge debt of gratitude because you have included um, a sort of green screen, as, unless you're like Alexia and that's real. Is that in your house? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a green screen. Oh, I, oh, oh. And um, actually, it's not a green screen. It's just an effect on Zoom. It's not actually. Yeah, I don't have a green screen set up. <laughs> and can you, for those people who aren't from a very specific part of an era of New Zealand, like a you know a, a childhood moment, can you tell us about uh, the bee behind you? <laughs> yeah, this is a, a character from, I guess it's, I thought it was from our childhoods, but actually I found out it was from 1999. So it's kind of like the 
the end of my childhood. This is yeah. Bumble. It was a character called wow. Bumble. And uh, he, he lived in a hive with some mice called <gasps> Peek, Anna, and Boo. And a fish called Fishy. Oh. It's a very unlikely collection of animals. It's a Kiwi television yeah. show, yeah. If you yeah. found some mice in a hive, you know, health and safety would be up in arms for a yeah. start. And he's huge if that's a bee and those are yeah. mice. That's, that, he was quite monstrous. Like, monstrous is scary. Yeah. Do they go on adventures, these characters, or do they mainly just stick around, teach you stick things? Around. or? Yeah, uh, stick around. Sadly, the show did not have a budget for adventure. It was <laughs> sort of mostly a domestic show about <laughs> yeah. a bee living with mice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So did the mice steal was the honey? honey? <laughs> did the mice steal the honey? I don't, I Wait, don't was that a part of it? Was there a, a, a temptation element where <laughs> I can't remember the specific yeah. episodes? I I think you're conflating Bumble with bananas and pajamas, with mm. a rat, which is also a vermin. Oh, was, um, yeah. It was a dastardly character, but yes. it seems to me, even just on the screenshot, that Bumble and the mice are, are friends. Mm. Yes. Really? That doesn't... I feel like the bees just told the mouse something really full on. <laughs> Definitely the I'm not sure there was budget for story, yeah. It was just... <laughs> <laughs> it's just enough budget for the bee costume and then two sock puppets. <laughs> Were there people inside the mice too? Are they like a smaller, uh, slender person <laughs> or is it a fella's hands propping them up? Yeah, human. there's a human in that and then yeah. hands in these guys. Oh, wow. And was it uh, New Zealand? <laughs> yeah, nice. Yeah. Can put your foot in there. Love to see the reverse where it's a big mouse and the bees are yes. guilt. Like that's the show I want to see. That's personally. just that's just um that's a David Attenborough documentary, surely. <laughs> I mean, this is you flip the roles here. This is fun. We're yeah. in the world of fantasy where the bees are humongous and the mice are still rather large, but not as big as a bee. <laughs> big for mice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, the mice is like up quite high against a tree. So every, everything is outside. I would like mm. to see people in this world. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> They're actually uh, quite mini from what I would gather. <laughs> the size of ants. Three primordial <laughs> mice. <laughs> and guess what? Ants get to have ants be, how big ants are. How big are ants? <laughs> They're as big as humans. <laughs> <laughs> and they've got quite the temper, these ants. <laughs> oh, and it's all about Rick Moranis, who's a mad scientist. Yes. Um, now, Brindley, what's your what's your history with spelling? Are you good? I can't remember. Not good. Oh. Um, it was a it was a point of contention in my house. My my mum was always trying to get me to practice my spelling, and I was like, nah. And you and you won the argument by the sounds of things. Yeah, I remember my dad used to say to me when I'd be crying, he'd be like, don't emotionally blackmail us. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's probably a different conversation, but it's really good intel. Thank you, uh, Brinley, and thank you to everyone. I'm very excited. Are you guys ready to get spelling? Yeah, let's do it. Hell yeah. So uh, just a, a bit of ground, uh, housekeeping, the ground rules. Is that right? We say ground rules? Yes, you yeah. could have said groundskeeping if you wanted. I could have. Um, housekeeping. Housekeeping, actually. Housekeeping, yeah. ground rules. We're a bit of a smash a lot talk. Of domestic duties. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, this is not a knockout spelling bee. All of you will be spelling until the, the final word. Oh. Thank you. Uh, so it's much. all about accumulating points over the wow, course okay. of the bee. There are five rounds. Uh, each of you get given a word in the first four rounds and in the fifth round it's a free-for-all it's the only round where you can buzz in and uh, it's the only round where you can lose points for spelling something how do you buzz in well you probably use your name okay. a b buzzes as well so it's quite <laughs> yeah. quite a fun little thing you've put in there guy well, I'd say that's where it probably sort of, away. is that where it would have like um originated from from the b Oh, the, the origins the of spelling The buzzing element. Bee. I, know I think you buzz in on it, a no, and the, Yeah, and the big spelling bees, you don't buzz in. I don't actually know where it comes from. Do you think mm. the word comes from the bee? Like, do you think that they like were like... buzzing in. Yeah, because they would hear the bee making that noise and they're yeah. like, well, the, the way I would describe the noise, allow me to do impression of it, is buzz. <laughs> and then like, let's call it that from now on. And any kind of electronic noise that develops in the future, let's call it that too. 
Yes. Oh. Because it's very that, onomatopoeia. Like, yes. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. No. They were definitely thinking about uh, electricity when people first heard a bee. Well, yeah, human be- beings are well, dreamers. They're were. dreaming about the future all the time. <laughs> Even back in the ancient times, they were like, one day shit's going to be fucking ballistic when we're looking at screens and stuff. <laughs> Angela, are you okay? You look like... I just st- remembered that the only time, the first and only time I got stung by a bee, I was giving a blowjob. Oh, my oh. God. Oh, my God. To the bee? Yeah. No, I sat <laughs> down on a bee. Oh, good oh. Lord. Indoors oh. or outdoors? Indoors. <laughs> oh, God. That's, That's unlucky. unlucky. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And also, it's almost like I wanted it to happen to you. Let's spare a thought for the bee. <laughs> I uh, can can we ask how everyone pulled up after the sting? How everyone pulled up? Well, how did everyone go? Did you uh, finish? Is that what you were asking? Did yeah, the bee you survive? Are... Did the bee survive? Were you allergic? Well, when I stood up, when I got up, it was on my ass, and I think the moment was gone. Like he had to go and make sure that the stinger was out, and then everything went flaccid. It wow. sounds like foreplay. It sounds like good foreplay. Mm. Uh, foreplay. <laughs> sorry quite I, kinky quite an exciting story especially not really day. sorry it didn't go anywhere um no, no it's great visually it was, it's hilarious i could see it in a kind of um in a in a pilot episode of, of like mm. you know mm. a buzz life <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> next disney pixar film yeah, yeah that would be awesome <laughs> um, it wouldn't it'd be terrible i, I think it's exciting I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to keep charging forward with the, yeah, uh, the rules and the spelling. Uh, <laughs> if you must go, if you must. Yeah, I, and, I, and I genuinely Whose spelling bee is this anyway? This is Guy Montgomery's Guy Montgomery's <laughs> oh, spelling bee. Oh, yeah, sorry. Bee. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, I've got to say there's a Tim Bat rule, which is no cheating. Tim cheated when oh. he did it because I didn't expressly say you can't cheat. You can't write, <sighs> you can't uh, write anything down with a pen and paper. You can't even do this. It's all in. Wow, okay. Your heads, the rounds are designed to be of escalating difficulty. So this first oh. round should be fun. And I've just okay. realized, actually, that I've left my props just outside oh of the door. Oh, my Lord. I know. So the oh. first round stuff I found around my house. Whoa. And it's for five points. And I've got to go and get the things. Oh, okay. One okay. moment. Okay, Do you want us, we'll stay silent. I bet it's quite vegetarian. Quiet. This, this feels like a taskmaster task, Angela. It feels <laughs> like it, yeah. Leave this room. <laughs> oh, Oh, we're oh. getting a glimpse into his life. Yeah. Ooh. Show wow. us your house, guy. What's that? Show us your house. We got a little glimpse into your world. Yeah, it's MTV Cribs. <laughs> okay. So we've got oh. a light quite bright yeah. in there. Okay. So, yeah, there's more to this house than just this room. Wowzers. You'd be fascinated to hear. Oh, so, you make them big over there in New Zealand, those houses. Yeah, we sure do. <laughs> oh, my Sydney, goodness. Famously only spaced for three Lundia shelves and 2,000 Blu-rays. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, first things first, this is stuff from around my house. Um, this evening, they are all Lego figurines. Oh, wow, I love oh. Lego. And uh, they are characters from Seinfeld. I just got the Seinfeld set too, Guy, and it was a oh, pleasure to build. It is a lot of fun. Well, you should, you should be incredibly confident for this round. So um, this, the four core characters, you'll each oh, have to spell no. one of them. Wow, okay. And in addition to I haven't that, seen it. Um, I've never seen Seinfeld. Oh, tremendous program. Whoa. Yeah. Oh. America. It's an American TV show. Mm. That's so crazy. Is it because he was in B Story? No, no, it's just because it's around my house. Oh, okay. But it's a great, that's actually quite beautiful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that would have made a lot more sense. I should have said yes. Um, so you get five points if you spell it correctly, nothing if you spell it incorrectly, and there is also an additional five bonus points up for round. If you can wow. do, each of you has to do an impression of the character whose uh, name you spell. <laughs> wow. This impression gets five bonus points. Good Lord. <laughs> I'm looking forward to Angela and Brindley as they have oh, no. not seen the show. <laughs> uh, so, Becky, you will go first, and um, your your word is Kramer. Great. Uh, co- his whole name, Cosmo Kramer. No, no, just his surname, as he's known in the show, Kramer. Okay, Kramer. Um, Kramer. K R A M E R. <gasps> that is correct. Beautiful. And if this is your really clever way of getting me to say N word, <laughs> <laughs> it's not a Michael Richards impression, you monster. 
<laughs> no, um, yeah. So it's bonus point to, if you do the impression. Five, or five bonus points if you do okay. the best impression. And wow. you're, yeah, yours is Kramer. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Please, Becky. <laughs> I'm dying to see it. Please do it. Same. Um, Jerry, oh, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> so You're really self-conscious. So Beautiful. vulnerable. Well, you was pleased to hear you are currently in the lead for the five wow. bonus points. <laughs> yeah. uh, Alexi. You oh, are, my Lord. You are up next, and your character is... Oh, please let me, George. <laughs> oh, okay. Elaine. Elaine. Um, do you want me to spell first or surname? First name. Okay, Elaine is spelled E L A I N E. Correct. Wow. Five points to Alexi, and uh, please your impression. Okay, I shall do a physical impression. Yes. This is how Elaine dances. We can't actually see your feet, but could you describe what they're doing? Okay, I yeah. didn't hear. Did you I was like just saying, it? We, yeah, I loved it. I was just saying we, we couldn't see it. your feet, but could you wow. describe what your feet were I was like? doing little kicks. Okay. <laughs> and I, I, do, I, I can do an impression of another Seinfeld character. If you must, yeah. I would love to. <laughs> this is an impression of um, Newman, Jerry's cantankerous neighbor. Hello, Jerry. Oh, oh, I'm about to see you again, Jerry. Wow. Do you know the thing is, I've got the Newman figurine, but I figured he's not in the core four, so I left him out. But that was a sensation. Um, Angela, you're next, and you have to spell George. G E O R G E. That is correct. And um, would you like to do an impression? <laughs> Is it you guys' glasses? <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> it's really bald. Good. Yeah, yeah. You're just describing. It's not really an impression. But, um, <laughs> was that you enough? Let, do you let me do a physical impression, guy? I think the rules can stand for anyone. Yeah, but you didn't describe his physical appearance. Wait, was that a joke? Can stands for everyone? Can stands it? Uh, oh, yes, I it was. 100% intended. I, I, I missed it. Um, but thank you, Angela. You've got five points and you are in the running, I suppose, for uh, the bonus five. And then finally, uh, Bryn, you have the star of the show, the man himself. What do we think about this for a, 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 a you know, physical accuracy, by the way? Any good? Mm, the no. tuft of hair at the back is good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, but you have Jerry. Jerry. J E R R Y. That is correct. Congrats. Oof. And would you care to do an impression? <laughs> um, okay. How dare you say <laughs> Okay. That is absolutely <laughs> fucking atrocious. I mean, he, he, would, he would say that though. That's something that he would say <laughs> in a landslide. Um, yeah. We could have done what's the deal with airplane food? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well you guys have got an idea of how it works so that was the first round also i realized i, I forgot to mention that um i have to take your first effort so if you if you misspeak you know just you can oh. take your time i'll accelerate you as necessary and also if you're wrong you will hear the sound beautiful um now we're on to the second round which is the uh world famous homophone round now homophones are words that uh, have two different, they sound the same, but they have two different spellings, often okay. because they're two entirely different words. Oh. So in this round, wow. I will give you a homophone. You may ask for the word in a sentence, if you so desire. <laughs> okay. And um, Becky, you're up first, and your word is you. Can I please hear that in a sentence? Can you see that you over there? Oh well, that's Lord. that's crazy because you've just used it twice. That seems this is quite nasty. That's nasty. Yeah, that's what I was. 
Well, I guess I'm going to assume it's, I mean, if I get it wrong, like you've obviously, like the audience can see that you've fucked with me. So E-W-E. That is incorrect. Oh. You spelled you, a female she. Is this the game that you like set us up and then like <laughs> fuck with us? Is that? My Lord. No, if I had it my way, everyone would get these correct. But alas, you seem to <laughs> refute and you can also see that I've given you the right one there. It's um, it's in bold. It's the bolder definition. Yeah, but like, shouldn't you have just said like, can you move the table or something? I mean, no. Is, is anyone no, kind of? Are there any comments on uh, YouTube Live? Are people with me or? <laughs> no, everyone's sort of turning on you. It's pretty weird. Uh, uh, <laughs> that could also be misconstrued. You could be asking, are female sheep able to move tables? <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I, 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 this will go. I will not forget this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, teachers wouldn't want to be asking you for help with that one, you fucking idiot. Now. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> My lord. <laughs> this is quite rude. I thought this would be quite a nice I'm being, experience. I'm being, I'm being punished for achieving oh, in school, which I didn't even. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Um, now, Alexi, you're up next. Are you going to pull a similar trick upon me as well? <laughs> it would only be fair if I did. Oh, my goodness gracious. Your, your word is beat. Okay. I am going to request the use in a sentence. Uh, when it comes to root vegetables... You can't beat a beat. <laughs> okay. I now. Yes, okay. My get my spelling for this word is B E. Um A T. Oh. Does that mean right. correct? No, famously uh, that means incorrect. You spelt beet as in be better than. I was looking for beet, a herbaceous plant widely cultivated as a source oh, of boy, food for boy. humans and livestock. Yes. Well, you I can see washed. why the pedophile got very angry at this spelling bee. <laughs> yes. Because these are not the rules. <laughs> it's being nasty to children, the favorite, the favorite creature of the pedophile. Devastatingly, yeah. <laughs> that joke is devoid of context for our at-home oh, audience. Oh, sorry, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, it actually uh, makes it for quite an intriguing. <laughs> what sort of ground were we covering before we went live? <laughs> we'll never know. Now, Angela, you're up next, and your word is here. Uh, can I have it in a sentence, please? I look at some parts of my body and think, I don't want this hair here. <laughs> Ah, here, 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 here. Uh, mm, where is it? <laughs> it's, oh, on this, it's on this part of my arm. Ooh. Okay. I think it's H-E-R-E. That is incorrect. You spelled oh, here gosh. as an in, at, or to this place. Why could it here? <laughs> <laughs> well... Alas, uh, it's it was here, you know, like okay, here. Um, Brindley, you're up last, and you've got a chance to win the round here. Wow, huge for me if true. H e r e. Well, it is true. I wouldn't lie about that. Your word is whole. <sighs> Part of me just wants to go for it, but only because I don't want you to get your you fun might as joke well. in. <laughs> well, this is quite brave. Unprecedented. Oh, W H O L E. Correct. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> Five points to Brindley. You spelled whole correctly, as in all of or entire. So. After two rounds, we have wow. Becky and Angela on five and Alexi and Brinley opening up a lead both on 10 points. 10 points, my goodness, okay. That's right. Did Alexi now, get his right? No, but he got five bonus points for his brilliant uh, impression <laughs> wow. of oh, right, right, Elaine. Right, okay. I mean, you, yeah, I, 
you, I'm sorry to do that to you because you mostly just felt vulnerable when you had to do the trainer. <laughs> well, I had to do it first, so I think that's a huge part of that. I see. Yeah, would you, you, would have lo- you would have loosened up having seen yes. everyone else. Yeah. And yeah. also, whereas I didn't feel vulnerable, I actually felt proud that entire time I was shuffling <laughs> away here on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Very powerful and proud in those moments. <laughs> it was a delight to see. Um, we are racing through this. We're now up to round three, Goodness. which is a round called Hard Words. For a 13-year-old. Oh. Uh, now, according to the website kidspot.co.nz, these words aren't as easy as they sound, but they'll give your child a great understanding of words they'll end up using in their schoolwork as they get older. Okay. So oh, my could... God. Imagine your parent being like, hey, we're going to go <laughs> this website. <laughs> Put a new homepage up there for you, buddy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, now, in this round, you can ask for a language of origin and you can also ask for the word in a sentence. Um, okay. This is also uh, an increase in points. The words in this round are worth 10. Oh, my gosh. Wow. My lead could escape. Yeah. I feel like every every sort of new wrinkle or slight change in uh, the particulars of a round, Alexi, shocks you to your course. Yes. I'm a creature of habit. I like <laughs> things to stay the same. When things change, I feel off kilter. Well, good luck to all spellers. Um, Becky, you. you're Thanks. up first, and your word is receive. Receive. Oh. R-E... C E I V E. No, no, no. Oh, it's I E V E, but you said that you're going to take it. At... You were correct. Oh, good. <laughs> wow. I thought that. It's oh. hard to write it down. I'm so like visual. Yeah. Big, yeah, my heart racing. It is part big. of the challenge. Oh, there was, it um, is a part of the challenge. Yeah, that was an incredibly tense moment. Mm. What made it you is- think it was different? Oh, just, I don't know, just Alexi freaked me out with all that shit about the Greek I before E. And... <laughs> oh, no, no, I, that was not my intention. No, I know. I know. <coughs> Sorry. Ooh, Squeeze you. you. Okay, yes, receive. You. Okay, so that's 10 points for me. Put, jot them yeah. down, please. Yeah, I, I, have, <laughs> I have jotted them down. Um, did, did, Alexi, did you say Squeeze you? Yeah, by accident. No, that's fucking legendary, dude. Wow. I never, I never heard that before. That's leg- that's awesome. <laughs> to squeeze someone. <laughs> <laughs> Did, didn't your mum or auntie ever say that? Like, you squeeze me. A lot of mum, yeah. it's big mum behavior. Yeah. yeah. You're squeezed. Of, yeah. I don't think, I don't think I've, uh, my mum never said excuse me. Wow. Oh, really? Oh my God. You're not loving They, they teach them that when, at the hospital when yeah. they give birth. <laughs> in the waiting room. Yeah. The mum's inside popping you out, but the auntie, she's, you know, got to fill her time. <laughs> the men the way. at the crowning, like, excuse you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> excuse the little fella out. So you probably don't want to hear this right now, but in the future, if something like this happens, you can say, like, excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> I might just excuse myself for a moment. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, now... Alexi, you're up next, as okay. always, and your word is detrimental. Oh, my Lord. That's extremely long. What country this word from? Medieval Latin. Medieval. My oh, God. Yeah. Dangerous what country times. this word from? <laughs> <laughs> what country this word from? And use it, use it in a sentence to establish some sort of meaning for the word. If you were to spell this word incorrectly, it would be detrimental wow. to your chances of winning. Okay. I'm going to give it a good old shot. I'm going to start with the letter D, E, T, R, E, M. I like the band, R, E, M. I'm taking a pause to collect myself. <laughs> <laughs> Following on from where I left off, E N T A L. That is 
Oh, oh my goodness. And correct. I'm sorry. Was Alicia. I close? You were close. You were one letter off, and it was those pesky vowels that you highlighted oh earlier on. Detrimental spelled D E T R I N. Oh my goodness. Forgot about the little I. Not at all like the band. More like no. rim, like an yes. asshole. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sometimes being rude is funny, saying rude words. So. <laughs> I can delight in this moment of misfortune with such a thing. So thanks, guy. You specifically asked before the um before the show if you were allowed to say curse words. Well, yeah, I just want to know the rules, you know, you just see what's going on. Understandably. Uh so that is incorrect. I'm sorry to say. We move on to Angela. And Angela, your word is. Precious. Um, I, okay. Uh, can I have it in a... Where does it come from? Latin. It's an adjective. Okay. Language of origin is Latin. Cool. I didn't know that. That's great. Um, and in a sentence. When I was 17... Okay, that's all right. Um, P R. <laughs> E C I O U S. Correct. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly yeah. You so do you want to finish the song? I do want to hear it. No, no. I sing. I sing a whole verse, and then I say, "Ah, the precious memory of youth." That was. That was going to be the oh, game. But I think I'm your, sorry. your response. Sorry. Precious. Was... Also, also the name of a great film. Really uplifting. It's, it's a comedy. <laughs> it's, <laughs> based, it's actually based on the novel Push by Sapphire, oh. which is about physics. <laughs> yeah. You if you push story. too hard, you can say, "Squeeze me." <laughs> <laughs> Holy heck and moly. Really, I notice you're the only one not laughing. Is that because you're the only person who hasn't spelled yet in this round? Yeah, I'm nervous. Don't be nervous. You're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to have a lot of laughs. Don't be nervous. That is such a funny thing to say to someone. Yeah. Don't be like you- nervous. <laughs> or just relax. Yeah, that's a great one. Yeah. Whenever anyone's really not relaxed, to tell them to relax, it works every time. Yeah. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> My ease of tense. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you do well to take your own advice there, Bryn. Calm down. Don't be nervous. And please spell for me the word Ren. Can you please use it in a sentence? Look at that, Ren. <laughs> <laughs> so you can ask for a definition. May I ask for a definition? It's a small, short-winged songbird, um, the wren. Ah, I have seen this on the game Wingspan, I believe. Um, wren, W-R-E-N. <laughs> Correct. Oh, Yay. Wow, wow. <laughs> Ten nice. points awarded to you, Brent, which means that our scores so far are now, Alexi lagging at the back yes. with 10 points. Good Lord. And we've got a, th- no, we've got a, a, a two way tie for second equal with Becky and Angela and Brindley streaking out of the lead. Yeah! Oh my God. With 20 points. I feel like Ren was quite easy though, like in comparison. But hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. Thank you. I'll be the, I'll be the judge of that. I Thank love you. winning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't we all? Um, now this next round is actually a uh, it's a it's a new round to the B, and it involves a technical component, which is not something oh. I've introduced before. So this this could be a disaster. Okay. It's oh. um, it's famous names. <gasps> so wow. you're going to be spelling uh, the names of some celebrities, <gasps> like Ooh. Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> Yeah, it could be like Jerry Seinfeld, but these are these are actors. These are not fictitious characters. This is the real well, he's out. both. He's actually a fictitious <laughs> character based on his own self, and he acts in a show. It's true. So um, I anticipate his name shall show up. No, it <gasps> shan't. But... Oh, screen share. Oh, my gosh. The That's future right. is now. So, uh, Becky, you're up first. 
You can, of course, ask for their name in a sentence if you so desire. And your actor is Joaquin Phoenix. <gasps> oh, okay. This is worth 10 points. It's so okay. mean. Yeah, this is, that's so. That's his name. It's not mean. It's a person's <laughs> name. Okay. He's rather famous. <laughs> J U A Q I N. Well, I've already got that wrong. I know that. Phoenix B P H O E N I X. Yeah. God, I get. The, oh, the Joaquin's Mall. Oh, no, I know it. It's J-A-O-Q-U-I-N. Is that it right? It is not. It's J-O-A-Q-U-I-N. J-O-A. Oh, oh this one's an awful system. I knew you were going to do this. What? The What's her? It's... R- Sarsha Ronan. <laughs> <laughs> is it... Yeah, can, what is it? Sarsha. Sarsha Ronan. Sarsha. Sarsha Ronan. <laughs> I oh. and Alexi, how do you feel about this round? Because you are, oh as you've as you've said, you're a cinephile. You love movies. You must love actors. Who are in yes. movies? I adore actors. And I respect their craft, and I respect their their. You know, giving it a go, especially up on the big screen. There, this is a wonderful young actress, star of the movie Hannah by Joe Wright, and also the star of Greta Gerwig's adaptation of Little Women. <laughs> Yeah. Do you respect actors to the point that you stick around to watch the credits and learn how to spell their names? I do. I always stick around for the credits. Some of my best times in the cinema have been sitting there all by myself as everyone else has left the cinema. One mm. time, I don't know if you know this person in New Zealand, but one time the only other person to stick around for the credits was Margaret Pomeranz, famous Australian film critic, and we struck up a conversation. Of course wow. you did. Wow. Did in the middle of a cinema. That's rude. <laughs> no, well, it was after we waited for the credits, the lights to come back up. I said, Oh, how'd you feel about that one, Margaret? And she said, Oh, it was wonderful. And I was very excited. Uh, okay, well, I'm actually, trying to, um, so. I'm actually trying to think. So if you could show <laughs> Becky, I gave you wonderful time to think about this actor. Wonderful time. Um, Oh it's, fuck! I don't know. This S-O- is on. No, 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 no. no, no, no. I think oh, it's, it's, it's not sorry. me. Sorry, it's sorry. Not you. That's okay. okay. Um, but I appreciate you trying. I will. I will. Oh, not... for some reason, I thought it was me. Why? Why? No. Well, I mean, I weird. might be trying to torment you with more actors, but um, no. This is for Alexi. Okay. Oh Alexi. shit! Me. Evidently, your <laughs> actor is. Oh, no, I think I would have noticed the pattern of what order we go in by now. <laughs> Sasha Ronan, star of many wonderful <laughs> motion pictures. Her Lady name... Bird. Yeah, Ladybird. She's titular Ladybird. Beautiful yeah. movie, also by Greta Gerwig. You think yeah. she may be Greta's muse? Is what I would write down in a review. <laughs> Greta Gerwig works with muse once more. <laughs> okay, her name of Irish origin is spelt. S, capital S, because a now we're dealing with <laughs> proper nouns. Capital S, A, O, R, I, S, E, space, R, O, N, I, N, Ronan, like the samurai. <laughs> Gosh. That is incorrect. I'm sorry. Oh. Where did yeah. I go wrong? Most of it or? Uh, you went wrong in both. Words, but Damn only words. by one letter each time. Sesha Ronan is spelled S A O I R S E R O N A N. But you were correct that it starts with a capital S. Mm. Most like names. Ronan Keating. Yeah. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Another Irish dude. <laughs> oh, Sorry. He is uh, quite a spunk, Ronan Keating. I mean, the Irish aren't known for their spelling anyway. We shouldn't be getting points on this. <laughs> Well, no one is. Please delete that. Delete that. Delete that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Guys, no, everyone, going. forget the moment. Forget the moment. I can't delete it. This is going out live. Delete, delete it. that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Angela is just oh, been trying no. to cancel herself in Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> Gaelic spelling has its has its uses. <laughs> that pedal. Stand by it. You know, stick to your guns. Uh, you are up next, and your actor is 
Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh. A particularly unflattering photo. It feels a little bit cruel. I feel like but... he's five <laughs> seconds away from giving me a dick pic. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't even look like a photo. It looks like an animation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, uh, it's an artist's interpretation made out of crepe paper. It's, it's, if you Google, if you Google image search him, it's pretty near the top. But um, wow. obviously, your actor is Matthew McConaughey. <gasps> um, M A T T H E W. Oh God, what is that? Irish? The next name? Uh, M C C. O N A U G H Y. That is oh. so, <laughs> so agonizingly close. Oh. <laughs> you got Matthew, obviously, but um, McConaughey, M C C O N A U G H E Y. Oh, uh, oh. oh. But a, <laughs> a, a truly valiant effort. Mm. And, what's um, his he, what's his catchphrase? He's got like a. All right, all, all right. right, all right. Yeah, well, he, it was not all right, all right. Matthew all right. McConaughey seems like he couldn't spell his own last name. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now he, he's positioning himself for a run in American politics. Is he really? Oh, oh, he'll probably Texas, win. Yeah, he probably will. That is the way that the system seems to work over there. It's a, a fantastic country. It's just getting greasier every from. year. Yeah, well, I don't know. Maybe that's a bad photo. It's definitely a bad photo. He's famously one of the most handsome men on the planet. Mm. <laughs> He's got good teeth in this photo. Yeah, gorgeous, pearly white. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and he is. <laughs> We've done enough analysis of Matthew McConaughey. Uh, now, Brinley, you're up last. Do you know who this actor is? Uh, I don't know the actor's name, but he's in love, actually. That is correct. He's been in countless other movies since then. As Alexia, I'm sure, would be able to tell us in his yes. name. Is Chiwetel Ejiofor? <laughs> What's his name? Chiwetel Ejiofor. <laughs> Can you repeat it? <laughs> Chiwetel Ejiofor. Can you say it more confidently, guy? Perhaps I, I actually can't. Chiwetel Ejiofor. Can you say it confidently, Alexi? Chiwetel Ejiofor. Oh, oh. gorgeous. Oh, okay. Person. Well, in that case, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is this was a challenging role for him. He had to play um, a man whose best friend is in love with his his wife. I don't know if it was challenging for him. I don't know anything about his personal life, but you know, <laughs> a situation no one would hope to be in. <laughs> so, what did he do? Well, he didn't find out. Yeah, he was sort of none the wiser. He probably didn't right. affect his performance, to be honest. Just like keep it out of mind. Yeah, I, you the you think that they they didn't let his his him the actor know that in the script? They're like You're... the hardest performance he had to give was pretending to find Kira Knightley attractive. Oh my <laughs> lord! You know she was actually rather young during the making of this movie. She was like seventeen or something. Oh, no, why is he wearing a red really? tie and a red shirt? <laughs> uh, it was it was the fashion of the time. Oh. It, and I'd like to thank Alexi. It's always handy to have a cinephile on hand to tell us <laughs> the, she, uh, the ages of actors during their performance. Was she really 17? She was rather young. She was quite young. 17? Something like In that. Something like that. I believe, yeah, she was so young that Stevie Nicks uh, wrote a song about <laughs> And that song was? I don't know Kira about Knightley. music. Knightley. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kira Knightley. Okay, cool. Uh, thank you, Angela. Brindley. Well, I've already spelt it. I got it right. <laughs> <laughs> I've um I've forgotten the name already. Um, okay, <laughs> I've forgotten it. Uh, to tell it's your for. Okay, C H E W space A space T E L L space E D G E space O F O L. <laughs> Hearing it spelled out loud did make it sound unnecessarily mean spirited to put his name in the competition, but that is uh, incorrect. You'll be surprised to hear. So, oh. no points scored in that round. Although Angela, Can you tell me how it was spelled. 
and tantalizingly close i can it's c-h-i-w-e-t-e-l space e-j-i-o-f-o-r where is it from or just now yeah i i actually couldn't tell you i didn't research anything beyond the spelling of their name and the uh and it's one phonetic, picture of their face. phonetic <laughs> pronunciation. I wrote it out to try and help myself, but um, ah. it, it, it obviously didn't have a huge amount of assistance for me. So I'm going to stop the share there. Wow. Well, that was the most technical I, I think I've, I've been on the screen. Good. Really good. That was actually myself. a gorgeous round, Guy. Oh, ah, well, thank you. Thank all of you. Uh, and you'll be devastated here. We are now into our final round, and everyone is still in the competition. Oh. We've got uh, Alexia on 10, Becky and Andrew on 15, and Brindley still out in front on 20. There are 10 words in this round. This is wow. the buzz round. You will get 10 points for spelling a word correctly, negative 10 for spelling it incorrectly. Uh, if you think you can spell the word, all you have to do is buzz in using your name. If someone spells the word incorrectly, you can then, another person can buzz in, not while they're spelling, after I tell them it's incorrect, you can buzz in and uh, you can then have a crack at spelling it yourself. Did you so, say you could lose points, Guy? If you spell a word incorrectly, you do wow. uh, lose 10 points. So This is a buzz round, right? That is correct. Okay. Um, so we... Uh, Approaching our conclusion, is everyone ready? Oh. Yeah. Yes, fair judge. Okay. These are words I solicit. I, I uh, put a call out on Instagram. I said, has anyone got any words that they, they like to spell or are hard for them to spell? Oh, and it oh was God. comfortably the most engagement I've ever received Wow. on Instagram. Um, and I've chosen the words that featured the most prominently. Okay. Uh, I've not written them into sentences, but you can request them in sentences because I, I think I could pull it off. The first word in this round is diarrhea. Becky. Go ahead, Becky. D-I-A-R-R-H-O-E-A. -R -R diarrhea. Oh, that is tough for me to judge because I have a different spelling in front of me, but I feel like I have seen it spelt that way. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I'm going to have to judge you incorrect. I'm so sorry. Although, actually, do you know what? I'm going to send a, a quick cross check here. You're going to get people in the comments coming for you, Guy, if you mark this wrong and it's correct. I don't well, even no, know if it was I kind of want to go for it both. No, I, I honestly think if you can spell <laughs> diarrhea first time right, you should be the prime minister. And you should also be immune from it. If you can spell yeah. it correctly, you don't have to yeah, get it yeah. ever again. No, that is incorrect. But okay. it was, you know, it was well enough spelt that it made me insecure about the spelling I, I had that I researched. Okay. So oh, can I, I go it. for it, Angela? Yes. Uh, D-I-A-R-R-H-O-E-A. -E I believe you just spelled it exactly the same. <laughs> as oh, did I? Wait, <laughs> I put an O. Becky had an O. So oh, I was going to take the O out then. Is also incorrect. <laughs> Sorry, Becky. That's okay. That's fine. We're both in the same team now. <laughs> yeah. People who are at risk of being afflicted by diarrhea because they cannot spell it. <laughs> I would anyone else like to have a crack? You do not, you don't have to buzz in if you don't want to. You can just move up. No? I don't know it. Oh. Okay. Is you it just know. without the O? Yeah. That's wow. it. Okay, I'll well, spell it. I, I no, no, you can, you, you, I'm not going to tell you how to spell it, then you buzz it. <laughs> I would love the opportunity. No, so, Becky and, oh, oh, sorry, I've written that wrong. Becky and Angela both losing 10 points there. Uh, no movement for Alexia and Brinley. Your next word is accommodation. Brinley. Oh, no, Brinley, you go. I heard Brinley. Okay, great. Accommodation. A C C O M O D A T I O N. That is mm. incorrect. Becky. Go ahead, Becky. A C C O M M O D A T I O N. That is 
Correct. Oh, double. Oh, double. Sorry, double Brindley, I, I really, no, you know. No, it's great. I, so I write that you. word all the time because it's always like booking you in somewhere and you're like, is accommodation provided? I think yes. people say Airbnb now. They don't say accommodation. <laughs> I, I'm wondering, if was there some gamesmanship in that in that round where you sort of let Brindley have a crack mm-hmm. first, confident she wouldn't get it, and then swooped in? Yeah, she's my canary down the mine. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It was admirable. Uh, all right, we're on to the third word of the final round. And this word is abdicate. Becky. Go ahead, Becky. A B D I C A T E. That is <laughs> correct. Oh, oh my oh, lord. Oh, nice, Becky. I tell you what, you nice. do get a real um, sort of power crazy feel on when you say that is and then you do a pause like oh. it's, it's a feeling like none i've known before um yeah i wish i could harness it in my day-to-day life it's crazy <laughs> <laughs> it should be more like abdomen <laughs> <laughs> if you're a doctor you'd be like you have cancer is what i would say if you <laughs> did but you don't <laughs> <laughs> Very nice no, i would not want to steal dr david driver's shtick Oh, he'd be like, your child has cancer as a star sign. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, your next word in this final round. Becky's, uh, you know, confident childhood education really coming to the fore so far Mm. is bureaucracy. Becky. Go ahead, Becky. B U R E A U. C R A C Y. So good. That is correct. Oh my, oh my gosh. So good. Becky, no my joke, God. Becky, you're so smart. <laughs> yeah. You're my smartest <laughs> friend, my lord. Now, and now Becky is getting exactly what she wanted. From yes. the I, yeah. <laughs> I've been wanting to do this spelling bee for years and he oh. never put me on. <laughs> That was magnificent. Yeah, not even mad. I'm, I'm just astounded. As soon as you said "be you," I was like, "Oh, she's got it." (laughs) I thought that was wrong. I was like, "Okay, maybe it's a different." You know, start "be you." That's too obvious for a silly word. Yeah, sometimes the things that are obvious are right, and that's what (laughs) you got to learn in life. Right. (laughs) Lesson learned for me. I shall (laughs) put it into my day to day life now. Your next word is. Onomatopoeia. Mm, no, not for me. Uh, I'm get <laughs> There's a lot of vowels in there. No, no, no. Too many, <laughs> too many vowels all over the place of that one for me. Is it American or English spelling? Great question. Oh my gosh. It is Guy Montgomery spelling. Oh, but I can I can research it and tell you if you'd like to know. Yes, please. I'm not still sharing it, am I? I'm happy to give it a go. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you can near it. <laughs> uh, onomatopoeia. This is. Oh, this is uh, English. English spelling, not the US. Brindley. Go ahead, Brindley. I'm going to, I've decided I'm just going to be risky and take a shot at every word. And if oh I get zero God. points, I'm going out in a blaze of glory. Don't you lose points <laughs> in this? Yeah. That's right, onomatopoeia. Yeah. O N N. <laughs> oh no 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 no! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Do you ever read it on the roof? P A E A. Guys, don't do it. Really, I, literally, I literally can't push that buzzer hard enough. <laughs> Can I have a go? You may. Don't give her points if she gets it right, though. <laughs> On a matter payout. O N O N Oh my gosh. A- oh no, no, no. <laughs> oh, no, no. M A T E I A. Oh, 
politics. <gasps> oh, wow. wait, wow. it was correct? Mm-hmm. In, I said incorrect. Oh, oh okay. Oh. I didn't hear the buzzer. Angela. <laughs> Go ahead, Angela. <laughs> O-N-O-M-A-T-O-P. <laughs> oh, my God. A E A. So sorry, but that is <laughs> incorrect. Alexi, no, I'm Graham writing it out. Still. Yeah, I'm staying <laughs> still. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Wait, was there an extra O in there? How do you there spell was, it? There you, was. You, you got a little mutter at the end. Automatopoeia, wow. the British spelling is O N O M A T O P O E I A. I knew it. Oh, this is, it's is a it, real muddle of ours. The, the, yeah. The, the Americans spell it without that final O. And it seems like especially cruel for a word which is about, you know, mm. words it's, sounding yeah. like the thing that they sound like. Mm. It's very yeah. ironic, isn't it? It's, Every it's, time something, I... that, it's something that I'm. St- um, Who's that guy that everyone's like? He's so witty. Steve Stephen Fry. Stephen Fry would have a joke about it. <laughs> and Steve O from Jackass. Yeah, he, he'd be like, you know, it's it's very funny that on, on about a pair. It's, <laughs> it's like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> take and his then glasses off and kind of like, he'd, yeah, he'd, like yeah. Totally. And everyone be like, oh, he's so intelligent. It's like, yeah. fuck off. He's like, oh, extremely <laughs> funny, extremely funny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll All bash right. him. Your next, your next <laughs> word, and this is an onish, an on, onish, an honor of a Jewish New Year, Rosh Hashanah, which is starting tomorrow, Monday, September 6th. The word is synagogue. Oh, Becky. Go ahead, Becky. Oh, sorry, Angela. No, it's all good. You're, You're not sorry. You love it. <laughs> I'm not S- Jewish, you take it. I'm not Jewish, but um I okay. Um but, no no what? No, no. What are you gonna say? No, I'm aware we're going live. Um yeah. but S Y N A G O G U E. Correct. Wow. Yeah. And points wow. to Becky Lucas making up for her onomatopoeia photo. That's really good. Thanks, guys. You could have got that one though, Angela. I feel like. Oh, How about me? You. Oh, no. Yeah, you could, yeah we all could have. <laughs> <laughs> Your next word <laughs> is <laughs> maneuver. Friendly. Go ahead, friendly. And also, I need to uh, say, I believe there are two different British? spellings of this. And this is the British spelling. (laughs) (laughs) Who is hidden on the other side of that (laughs) fake Zoom background? (laughs) Who's just come round to your house? (laughs) Maneuver. (laughs) Maneuver. Do you get points if you say the word incorrectly as well? (laughs) You don't get or lose points for that. M I N O O V A. Becky. We don't know. It could be spelled correctly, Becky. Like, yeah, it sounds I, like I, a, a oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I forgot. No, to... I gave it a pretty hearty buzz. Becky was within her rights to buzz in. <laughs> I mean, and yeah, I, I appreciate your respect for the rules, Alexi, but we all had a, a sort of. An inkling that that might be on yeah. the money. <laughs> the, the, uh-huh. big, the big guffaw is what led me to believe I was <laughs> able to go. Um, I'm scared about this different spelling thing. M-A-N-O-U-V-R-E. Angela. Whoa. Oh, hey, Angela. Uh, M-A-N. Oh, Jesus Christ. M-A-N. O. I fucked it up. Uh, e B. <laughs> oh wait, no. I bail. I'm sorry. Can I try again? No. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Please. <laughs> <laughs> no, ma'am. Angela, you bailed out. You don't want to finish. Oh, I thought. Uh, finish, okay. So. Uh, where did I get up to? Start from the beginning again. Uh, 
M A N O E V. Oh my God, it's something like uh, E R A or something. Oh my God, E. She <laughs> was so <laughs> close. Oh, um, sorry, I messed up at the end. Did you say sorry? Yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> be sorry. Alexi? Oh, you know, the strategic version of this would have been me paying attention to every spelling that has been put out there and then concoct one different <laughs> from such, but I've actually, um, you know, not, you know, I haven't heard, I haven't mean, heard the words when they've been set out. So I shall be not partaking in this Wait, one, sir. How many of us have uh, licenses? Not me. I don't. Do I you, don't. Vicky? No. Okay, that's that that word should be scrubbed out. None of us can drive. Yeah. Well, because but maneuver is not um, I can drive. Is not <laughs> uh, <laughs> only exclusive <laughs> to driving. Yeah. Oh, but maneuver is like <laughs> she was the furthest away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to bomb in a in a blaze of glory. I refuse to be mediocre. And I I'm striving for mediocrity and yeah, trying yeah. to win at the end. Yeah, I don't want to be the same as Alexi, so I'm going to go the opposite. I respect that you've made a brave decision. This next word, I'd like to think everyone has a chance at this one. Restaurant. Becky Alexi, Angela. I heard Becky first. Okay. R E S T. A U R A N T. That is correct. Wow. I know that word. I love to eat out. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very devilish raise of the eyebrows. Um, we're, we're down to two words remaining. Becky oh does gosh. sort of feel like is running away with it, although she's had a few misspellings. So who knows? I know. Alexi's stoic approach might have him in the conversation still. Your penultimate word is. Necessarily. Brinley. Go ahead, Brinley. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, say, I'd say get him a word. N E S S E R I L L Y. <laughs> Angela. That is incorrect. Good. Angela. Uh, never in. <laughs> e. C. Oh, yeah. E. S. S. A. R. I. L. Oh, wait. Necessarily? Yeah. Oh, God. You got up to L. Uh, L-Y. Oh, I've put an extra L in. Ugh. I unnecessarily put an extra L. <laughs> that is great. <laughs> like my name. Anyone else? Well, isn't it just like we know now? Yeah, but if I was you, I'd swoop in and take the point. Angela. Uh, <laughs> no, you can't go again, Angela. Becky. Go ahead, Becky. N E C E S S I R I L Y. Oh, wow. Oh, I fucked it. It's very hard to do it in your head. No, Angela, shut the hell up. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I'm oh, sticking by my plan. I'm yeah. sticking by my no, I flatter. I respect that, Alexi. No, I've made a decision. I and it. like I said, I've He's completely forgotten all wrong. I've forgotten every other spelling that's been said so far. Not your, perfect. Fi- your final word. Can you Gosh. phone a friend on this? No. Oh. What about after the game? Am I allowed to call? Friends? Yeah, yeah. After the game, you are, of course, you've got total useless. autonomy granted to you very shortly. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> Your final word is vacuum. Brinley. I heard Brinley. <sighs> Don't look. Where are you looking? She's looking at like the world's worst dictionary. I I look sideways when I think. 
Uh, Guy, how many points am I currently on? Uh, Brinley, you, you ended this round in the lead on 20, and you are now on negative 20. Vacuum. V A K K U M E. Angela. Alexi, Alexi. Oh, yeah, Angela. V A C U U M. That is yeah. great. Well wow. done, Angela. Nice. If she had said W instead of just U, would you have questioned what she meant by that? Because it's quite a funny thing about that. Well, word. she was saying two sheep. <laughs> That will be quite. Yeah, that will be a fun little moment for this show. Okay, that's Stephen Fry's closing joke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, you can talk quietly amongst yourselves while I uh, tell you the scores. Okay, who do you think's okay. gonna win? I <laughs> think. Who do you I think? What's your favorite TV show? <laughs> um, great question. So hard to say. Maybe Fleabag. Just... Probably. Fleabag. Wow. I haven't seen Fleabag. Or Kath and Kim. Wow. Oh, that's great the Australian version or the US remake? Is <laughs> <laughs> it a US remake? <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. terrible. It's got Selma Blair in it, celebrated actor. No. And Molly Shannon, I believe. Oh, oh wow. Okay. So right. it's probably really good. Alexi, I love what's yours? Two. I want to know from a cinephile. My favorite TV show is Margaret and David at the movies because they discuss <laughs> movies on it. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you're a conscientious objective from television programs, <laughs> yeah. aren't you, Alexi? You're Not a... my business. None of my business yeah, yeah. kind of stuff. What they do in half-hour increments. Waste of everybody's bloody time. Why don't you tell it all at once? What's the bloody <laughs> hold up? <laughs> uh, so, after telling the scores. Wow, wow, wow. Dean, I'm just going to make sure I got this right. Because the, uh, the outcome may shock you. I think I know who it is. It's the guy who didn't take any risks. Mm. It mm-hmm. could be. I don't know who that could be, but. Oh, well, there's only like... one guy who isn't named no. Guy. So, <laughs> in fourth place, with an incredible <laughs> negative 30 points, Ooh. Ridley Stent. Woo! Thank you so much. And it's like the place I really wanted to come. Feeling good. Hard, you certainly work hard for it. Yeah. Uh, in third place on negative 15, Angela Draven. Oh, wow. Nice, Ange. In second so. place with a stoic <laughs> and, you know, commendably boring 10, Alexi Toliopoulos. <laughs> wow. Uh-huh. In first place, childhood superstar come <laughs> adult valedictorian Becky Lewis yes. with 25 points. Yay. Wow. Well deserved, Becky. Jeez. Thanks, guys. Yeah, oh. that was great. Was People think I'm dumb, that. and I just want to start getting the um, word out that I'm actually smart. Okay. Well, you're the only yeah. one who's published a book out of yeah, us. You've written a whole book. Yeah. Yeah, but ev- anyone can publish a book. Really? Can I've you put me in contact? Yeah, sure. <laughs> what would you say, Angela? We've all been trying. <laughs> <laughs> Alexi, didn't you, you, you did a whole podcast about how anyone can publish a book. Yeah. But oh, you did it in the podcast. So yes, I did it in the spoken word format. We nearly wrote a single word down for it. Wow. Incredible. Um, hey, guys, thank you all so much for competing. It's been a joy uh, to to host you, but mostly just to see you. Oh, okay. do, do I get a prize or anything? You have. I was going to talk to you offline. You have the opportunity to defend your crown. Next oh. week Ooh. against okay. three uh, three new spellers, same okay. same same time, same place. Okay. Uh, but you don't need same to room of your apartment. I would what? love to. Yes. I same so. lighting setting. Same lighting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I uh, love the crochet blanket. Thanks, I made it. Oh wow! Get Did out you? of really? here, really. And- yeah, that's another thing I can uh, do. That was an incredible amount of skepticism from everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Prove it. You oh. don't know me. <laughs> Crochet one now. Show me one loop. <laughs> this story has loads okay, of holes. I, actually, like it. I can actually. I'm midway through doing a new one. Okay, oh. do one uh, you loop. You on hand. You can... You you would lay on order finished crocheted blankets and a set to hold up on a Zoom so it looks like you know what you're doing. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, thank you all so much. I hope you guys are all, all, all doing okay in our respective lockdowns. And thank you to everyone for viewing at home and around the world. Um, Shout outs to all the dads nice. out there. Happy Father's oh, Day. Yeah. Hey, nice. Happy Father's yeah. Day. Yeah. Yeah, lovely, to all the dads in there. and a happy new year to all of our Jewish viewers. Yes. And otherwise, we'll um see. Well, I won't see you guys, you know, probably for a while. Okay, but I might see you next week, Becky. And uh, thank oh, you. Oh, so yes, much. yes, yes. All the best, Bon Nui, as they say. Bye, guys. Oh, so good you. to see.